<clears throat> uh, hey guys, just going to show you a uh, pretty neat little tricks you can do on your Mac just by using a few codes. And um, first one I'm going to show you is how to get a highlight over your stacks when you hover your mouse over the apps or whatever the folders. Um, it's a pretty useful and neat little um, code to use. Works on all of the stacks, even the fan, where it gets a little blue tint. Obviously, if I were to um, open a folder inside a folder, it does it in there as well. And basically, to get this, open up your terminal. Um, don't worry about if your colour looks different, I've changed the colour of mine. Because I'm a bit of a nerd like that. Um, copy the link in, which I'll put in the description. Copy this. Control V, enter. Now, the important thing is to do is kill all doc. Um, you can do a capital K, I'm not sure if it's vital, but I found out it worked for me. But definitely do a capital D on doc. Press enter. It wipes everything, and it sorts out the thing. And then you'll get your cool little effect on here. And if you want to change it, change your yes on the end of the code to a no. And I believe it should change it. And then obviously do the kill all doc and it will do it again. Um, another cool little thing I've got to show you is um, a preview x ray thing. Which basically, instead of pressing space, you see the boring old file. If you press space in this preview, you get to see what's in the file. It can be quite helpful if you don't know what's in there. Go into my pictures. Or for that, oh, there's pictures from my holiday there, so you can see what's in, and um, they change as well, I believe, like after a while. Just give it time. Okay, maybe not, but they will in the like documents. Yeah, if I went on my letters. They go in the letters, and these will swap every now and then, just to give it a cool little effect. Maybe not. I've seen to do it earlier. All the little photos. And to do this, open up the camera again. Pop in this code here, which I'll put it into the thing. Press enter, and then you probably need to relaunch your finder. I still haven't found out how to do it, but I think you, if you just cross it off and open it up, you may have to restart the computer, hit the space bar and you'll get the cool little effect. Uh, that's all that I've got to show you today. Um, hopefully it's helped and give you some cool insights on what your Mac can actually do. And uh, leave subscribe to my channel or leave some comments and I'll try and get back to you if you've got any problems. Cheers.